My name is uh, Fazal Saeb. I am the CEO of um, First Community Bank. I would like to thank all the tweeters and messages that has come up this morning and some very interesting questions that have, have been posed to us. Uh, my take on this is that I think um, we have still some work to do in terms of creating awareness to the communities at large in terms of what is Islamic banking and I try to answer some of these questions in a very short, short way this morning. But again, very briefly, Islamic banking is based on the divine laws that's promulgated in the Quran in terms of um, one is interest is forbidden, two in terms of the transparency of uh, transactions and three there should be absolutely no ambiguity in terms of contracts. So that's the fundamental basis on which um, all contracts and contractual obligations have taken place within Islamic banking. The other point is there was um, uh, that of Islamic banking is that there must be an asset, in or, uh, an asset underlying asset in in order for it to uh, for a contract to be consummated, and that would mean that we wa we will be unable to finance uh, just money on money. So, for example, if you wanted an asset, whether it's a car, house, um, furniture, etc., the bank would then buy it and the bank would then sell it, and that's the most simplistic way of of looking at Islamic banking. There were questions around construction finance, uh, how would that happen? Obviously there's a long gestation period in terms of construction pe uh, period. And um, you know, there's, there's another way of uh, financing um, those kind of activities and that, that could be the bank would take some equity with the partner and once the construction is over, the bank will then sell it either to the partner or to any other investor. Um, interestingly, the, you know, people also asked me some very interesting questions in terms of uh, broader economic issues like the Sukuk market and what, what, you know, what does FCB think about it. And uh, we believe it's a very lucrative market. I think uh, it's a market in which our products for this country will be very, very viable, particularly in terms of financing coming from Islamic countries, the Middle East and, far, and, and East Asia. Um, there's definitely lots of cash lying around and I think those kind of investments will help the country tremendously in terms of its infrastructure uh, development for this country. Yeah, this bank is for everyone um, and as long as people can abide by the rules of uh, the organization in terms of fairness, justice and ethics, anyone is most welcome. Um, in, many, in many other countries you would find Large, some large numbers of uh, non-Muslims banking with such banks. And a typical case is Malaysia, where more than 50% of bank customers are Chinese non-Muslims. So I think for those people that believe in protecting society, ensuring that you know society acts and behaves correctly, this is the type of banking for those kind of, uh, of, 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 of groups of people. I try to explain that it's, it's a trade-based um, um, institution in which we will buy and then sell goods and on that basis we will then make a markup and that is very, very different from, from interest. So the other questions that were posed to me were what's the difference between usury, interest um, and riba? Uh, riba is an Arabic term for usury which means excessive charges on money and the definition of interest is money made on money. So by the very nature of Islamic banks, we are unable to make money on money because money is a means to an end rather than a means in itself. So we would, in order for us to generate and benefit society, we believe that trading and um, engaging in economic activity rather than keeping money and, and letting money grow in itself uh, will benefit society. Um, there's a number of issues around uh, conventional and Islamic banking, but fundamentally uh, Islamic banks no interest, whereas conventional banks can work on interest. Um, conventional banks, when I say works on interest, meaning that they, you will be able to take an overdraft, you will be able to take a personal loan without 
declaring what the asset is and then therefore you would pay more money on the money that you borrowed. In an Islamic bank, if you had to come to the bank and ask, I just want money, the answer would be no. What is the asset that you were looking for? Whether it's for your trade purposes or whether it's for a house or whether it's for any other goods that you want, the bank would ask you and then the bank would then buy it and then sell it to you with a markup. And that's how Islamic banks make money.